Back at it again on the hunt for something interesting. Right there's a uh, little trilobite tail. Um, up here, you know, a little piece of cephalopod, of course. Uh, we're gonna look around a little bit. We're back to mud. Uh, it's above freezing and we had a bunch of rain yesterday and last night, so hopefully we washed out something cool. We'll see. Alrighty, so here's a neat little uh, chunk here. It's got a couple of little flexi uh, trilobite tails, a little plesiopod uh, there on the left. And to the right, right here is part of a hypostome, which is the mouth, uh, mouth plate of a big isotelus trilobite. So this trilobite would have been pretty big, and these are the little tail sections of some small, some small uh, little flexies, and then there's that pod right there. So that one's pretty neat. Um, finding a few things. It's just so muddy out here. I hate getting my phone out because uh, I'm just literally covered in mud. So uh, we'll see if we find anything cool. Here's a little piece uh, with a couple of trying to buy faces. Alright guys, I found something pretty cool. Okay there. Let's see if it's whole. Looks like you can see its tail rolling out. Oh, it's sticking to my glove. Looks like it. Also been smashed. Very cool. Gets me excited. I uh, found a lot of little plates with little fragments, especially over in this area. But sometimes they come out rolled up. I find them like this, and you touch them, and they just fall into little tiny pieces. They're just not really held onto any kind of solid matrix. So. Keep looking. All right. Found what's looking to be a pretty nice brachiopod. Hopefully, it's whole. I gotta get zoomed out a little bit. Wow, there we go. That's a clean one. Well, I mean, it's covered in mud, but... Uh, once it's cleaned up... When I say clean, I mean free of uh, a bunch of matrix. Sweet. Also, <laughs> little bracelet that says jerk. Another nice little brachiopod. Clean it pretty nice. Alrighty, just gonna wrap this up here. Uh, over on this other towel, that's a different trip. That was, uh, I think, episode three. This is episode four. Um, a lot of trilobite hash plates, like their uh, molted shells and things. We'll get more into it. Um, this has got. This is the one with the two uh, trilobite butts, or the tails. It's a plesiopod, um, and there's a hypostome from a big isotelus trilobite. 
Uh, there's another piece of a hypostome right there. There's the underside of a tail. Um, here's some little cephalopod pieces. Hang on, let me see here. There's some crystals in there. There you can see where the siphuncle went through. Okay, so here's more cephalopod pieces, some uh, internal molds of gastropods or snails. Of course, brachiopods. That's kind of a bigger, I don't find a lot of them like this there. Here's a, another type of gastropod. It's not a, not a very good example, but I don't have very many of them. This is a nice, uh, uh, practically transparent. Very thin. something up there. I don't know if that's like an inarticulate, inarticulate uh, brachiopod up there. I'd have to look at it closer. Here's some little tails for flexi trilobites. There's the gabella or the face. Um, there's a cephalopod. This is a cephalopod piece that has some bryozoan on it. Here's that little rolled up trilobite, and I want to show you. So the eyes are, for those that don't know, the eyes are right there. That's an eye, and that's an eye over here, the slit, actually. So that right there, and this right here, this on the top, that and that, those are not the eyes. I don't have the best lighting right now. <laughs> But here's that rolled up one. Alright, here's a nice trilobite hash plate. This has got a ton of... These little... Look like little M's everywhere. Um, part of this uh, thorax piece you've got um, the head a tail piece and then these thorax pieces uh, when the creature molts and that shedded shell kind of falls down all these thorax pieces disarticulate and that's what all these are they're all little and the little tails right there that's one Let's look at the tails here. There's one. That's a piece of one. Let's see. There's a piece of one. That's a piece of one. Here, we'll look down here. There's one there. So this tail section stays together. The head section stays together. And the thorax, all those little individual pieces disarticulate, and that's what those individual pieces are. Now, of the head section, the um, labella is kind of the center point there, that ornament. That's not the eyes there. This is the labella. And then there's like a cheek, which there's one right here. This cheek, which then has the eye slit in it. So of the face, the cheeks usually get busted off, so you end up with this glabella just kind of loose everywhere. There's one, there's a piece of one. There's a piece of one, now here's the cheeks, there's a piece of cheek. 
That's a piece of cheek right there. 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 There, there. So, on this trilobite here, here's one kind of together. There's that labella in the center, that piece. That's an eye slit there at the tip of the needle, and that's the other eye slits over here. So this is that cheek part right here, and on the other side, that cheek part usually gets busted up a little bit. But the tail holds together, and um, there's that tail. So it's about four, four of the lines. So let me see. So here's a big giant tail piece. Let's see. So here... We count, we go like one, two, three, four. So on this one, no, one, two, three, four, it stops right there. So you can see how big this trilobite, this trilobite from this tail would have been much bigger. Ugh. So here's a little rolled up trilobite, I already showed you that. Not rolled up in a ball, it's been kind of smashed. This was a rolled up trilobite at one point. It's been smashed up and... So... Uh, what else we got here? Some more... I like these little trilobite plates that just have all the little... pieces. with crystals. Some uh, very faint, subtle crinoid stem impression, a big old column. Well, here's another thing kind of interesting. Well, here's a piece of a hypostome for isotelus. It's the isotelus mouth plate. Just one side. Here's a trace fossil. This would have been like a cast, so this is actually like the underside, like this would have been this orientation. It basically, if this was the flat sand, trilobite would dig a burrow. This is like a mold or the cast off of that burrow. And it's very detailed and I believe those lines there are like the uh, scratches from like the claws or the feet. So we're actually looking like at the bottom side here. So this would have been, you know, this would have been the top. And that would have been the underside where the trilobite feet are scratching. I'm not sure I'm conveying that very well, but uh, if you're familiar with the trace fossils, you'll kind of understand what I'm saying. A lot of times these are not that detailed like here. I believe this is kind of like a burrow as well. So it's like a cast of the burrow. And this one is the same, but it's very detailed. So. That was uh, about it. A um, couple of nice things, and that was from the other one, so. Alright, thanks.